first one is kind of it's an overview of uh, shotgun spread, pistol, all that stuff. Uh, we're going to talk about an overview of it, the different types. Uh, we're going to talk about tempos, okay? The different tempos you see, some answers we're going to have for that. Uh, then I'm going to talk again, I'm going to get into uh, the zone read, uh, defending out of 40, 50 fronts. And then the last part, we're going to do fits, and I'm going to do that. We're going to walk, we're going to go in there, we're going to make sure we learn how to we fit it up right and stuff. Okay, the second talk is always about the run down stunts, dog blitzes, everything against that. Okay, and then uh, so the first part of these fits will be basic, vanilla, you know, basic fits out of your front. The second part will be the stunts and dog blitzes. And the third part, we're going to talk about the counter power and the quarterback trap, quarterback dart game, and all that stuff. Okay, again, when we guys, when we do this, uh, Feel free to ask questions. I know we have with y'all some of these, you know different defenses. But, you know, I'm gonna try to hit it, and uh, not just from what we do. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit it from, every, from all the angles. So if you're 40, 50, whatever you do, eight man front. I know a lot, you know, different different things. A uh, couple things. We we'll start off. Obviously, in the last 10 years, uh, shotgun spread offense has changed drastically. Okay. And if you ask, you know, in 19, you know, 98, 99. Uh, there was not a lot of people running zone option. I sure the hell wasn't running the triple or the, the, the zero out of it because we call the zero it's the triple out of the gun. And I don't know how much of you guys seen that or the midline. Okay, and uh, and obviously, especially the last four or five years, it became it's it's obviously it's everywhere. And uh, so obviously, defensing it has changed drastically. Uh, we have changed drastically probably in the last three or four years about how we're defensing it and the things that we're trying to do against it. Okay. You're obviously, you all, if there was probably, you're probably your experiences when you line up against it, help. You're not seeing it. You don't have to worry. A lot of people, you don't get answers until you see it. Uh, and uh, so, been fortunate on this part is that really we're in. A, I'm in a conference. Been a conference the last five years that basically, you know, nine of eleven teams uh, have been spread option football. Uh, so we see it quite a bit. We see every every variation of it and uh, all types of it. Okay. Uh, Feel free to ask questions. We go through this thing, okay? Again, we'll talk about the uh, concepts first. I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Be more happy to go in more detail on it, okay? Um, and then again, we'll talk about all right. We're going to go into the tempos, okay? And then I'm going to talk about defensive from 40 and 50 fronts. And I'm going to break this down, guys, because really we talk about defensive 40 and 50 fronts. It's real. It's the same thing. I don't care if you're in a 4-3 or, or whatever you're in, guys. If you got a shade in a five technique. It don't matter what you want to call that a 50, you know, wheel backer, however you want to call it, it's the same, it's the same thing. And then so basically all you have really in the, in the game anymore is you have over and under fronts, and that's it. Alright? No matter if you're slanting to it or whatever else, you either have a B gap defender, and if you got him, then you basically you're in your 40 front. At least that side, that's how we're gonna defend it. Okay. Alright. Uh, spread option. Uh, three basic ones I want to see. Uh, again, I talk about the zone option, and we're going to start to really this. The option talks coming on the, uh, tomorrow morning, so tonight we're really just talking about the zone read part of it. Okay, all right. No pitch player. Okay. Uh, we talked about the zero option. We talked about the midline option. Everybody see the midline option? You know, we're talking about reading the three technique. Okay, good. All right. Again, the, the, the other part we're talking about then obviously is the quarterback run game, which has really screwed up the count in the game of football. Okay. Um, by adding that guy in, it just goes back to straight option footballs where you always got to count that guy as, as, as another guy and they can get you outnumbered in the box obviously very quick, okay? Let me go through these couple. First thing I want to talk about when we talk about the zone, let's talk about make sure we're going to be on the same page about a majority of people teaching the zone. Let's talk about the zone part, not the read, just the zone, okay? Majority of people, you got two options. They're either going to read backer on backer flow, okay? I'm talking about having he hands the ball off. Or the back is reading first down line and pass the center. Okay? First down line and pass the center expands. I'm going to cut it back and I'm going to read the next, next, next down line. Okay? If he expands my gap, I'm cutting the thing all the way back to B. Okay? If he expands out and I cut it back, I'm going to hit it up to the, hit it up in the gap. Pretty simple. Okay? It's very important, obviously, when we're talking about uh, uh, how we're defending it, we want to make sure we know how they're reading it. Now, obviously, for you guys, every you know, it's gonna be different from team to team. You're saying, you know, what, what's this guy doing? How's he reading? Okay. Um, but we're talking about zone read. We're talking about obviously the read for the quarterback is the is the, the five technique, the inbound line scrimmage. Okay. Everyone on that. All right. Zier, here's triple option football with gun. Obviously that. Now we're talking true veer block on the front side. 
We're talking about a hard dive, A gap here. He's gonna, if you got a B gap defender, he jump cut off the B gap defender. If you don't have it, he's going to hard midline. He's, he's running for the uh, the outside leg of the center. Okay, he's going to run for the outside leg of the center. What you usually see is this: is that if he doesn't give him the ball, he keeps it front side. Okay, he keeps it front side. Why? To get the backers to keep flowing, because obviously the quarterbacks keep the ball. If he does get the ball, he's hitting it straight downhill and he's cutting off the front side nose guard. Okay. And again, midline. Is we're talking about midline, again, they're reading the three technique, okay? And what I got here is obviously the midline follow, all right? So he's reading the three technique, they're blocking out on the five, okay? Get the three technique close for the dive, okay? Quarterback's going to keep it in insert and a B gap, okay? If he sits on it, he's going to hand the football off, all right? The play, obviously, uh, and I don't know how much you're seeing this, this is a heck of a lot better play when they run outside zone on the front side, that's when it becomes hard. For us, we defend it. If they zone block it, feel pretty good about it. Okay? We're talking about how we do this. We're going to sit and squat just like we do on anything else. We're going to sit and squat, and it doesn't stretch them. Now, the thing we're just seeing more people doing is they're going to run the midline, and they're going to outside zone the front side. Okay? So what happens is your three techniques got to what? You got to bring his butt over. And as more as he's more, he's got to close. It opens the insert gap for the quarterback. Okay? Now, we're in a conference. Obviously, we're seeing a lot of uh, athletic. Quarterbacks, okay. Uh, and again, how we go into talking about defending these things, a lot of the first thing you got to always determine first is, is that guy uh, how athletic is the quarterback, okay. All right. Next part here, let's talk about the schematics of it, okay. Spread teams. First thing they're going to look for, okay, and understand is they got to look for one high, two high, okay. If I'm going to spread, I got four wide receivers. If you give me two high. If you're in a six-man box, I got an uncovered defender, an un uncovered receiver. Okay, so that's one of the first things they're looking for is that. So I need to, let me drop my offensive pitchers here. One, two. Okay, four, four, five. Okay, still back quarterback. Okay, if you got two on the roof. Okay, they're looking here. If you give them a six-man box, if you give them a six-man box, you got an uncovered. Uh, a receiver sitting out here. Okay? So they know what? If it's two on a roof, you have to give them a five man box to cover everybody down. Alright? That's for you know, that's pretty much where most offense is going to start. What's on the roof? Two on the roof, they're going to check if there's an uncovered, if there's a six man box, they're throwing a the football. Okay? And this is where you start getting obviously the reason on the bubble screens. Alright? Give me a six man box, I'm going to throw the bubble to the side we have leverage. Okay? If I get, they're going to be good on that. If we go into the one high look, then obviously they know they got an eight man front. Okay? They know they're gonna get six in the box. Okay? Alright? Got four wide receivers, give them one high free safety, they know they got six in the box. Okay? Chances are they're gonna throw the football. Okay? We should be able to we should defensively be able to outnumber them in the box with any eight man front, one high. I wanna make sure we're all on the same page when I talk terminology, right? If I say, if we're talking anything and we say uh, 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 cover one. Cover three, anything with your one high safety, right? You're talking eight man fronts, right? You're an eight man front defense, right? If you're talking too high, right? I could be cover two, could be your quarters concept. Well, you kind of get involved. Could be uh, you know a, a two deep man under any of that stuff. Okay, you're a seven man front, right? I just make sure we're on the same page when I say terminology. Okay, all right. So where does it start? Okay, one high, two high. That's the first thing they check. All right. If you're too high, it's not only determining what's in the box, okay, for the run game, but also on the too high. The majority of them are also going to what? They're going to match it up on the concepts of the pass. Okay. If they have any clue about doing this stuff, I mean, bread and butter is what? They're going to run the smash. If you get too high, they're going to run the smash. Okay. All right. Most teams now are smart to figure this out, is they're going to put a two high beater on one side and they're going to put a one high beater on the other side. Okay? So let's just say one high beater would be curl flat, right? I'm reading the flat defender. Right? So quarterback comes to the box, comes up, he sees two on the roof, we're going to throw the football, and I got smash on one side, and I got whatever you call that, curl flat on the other side. He knows two on the roof, he's throwing the smash. 
Okay? He comes back in that same box, and he sees one high. There's one high in the box, and we cut throwing a pass. He's going to throw the crow flat. He's going to read the flat defender. All right? And that goes with concepts. All right? We've got to, obviously, I think it's important. This is that, uh, is, 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 you've got to know what they're trying to do. Okay? It's important. You've got to know what they're trying to do so you can get yourself involved in a chess match and get what you want. Okay? So, and later I'll start talking about them. How, you know, that's why, obviously, it's important for disguising and going from too high and dropping down to one high and go to one high look and get them back to two high. Right? Play the game with the quarterback, not with the coordinator in the box. Okay? So, basic things we're going to talk about schematically. When you check your two high, one high, it's going to determine the box count for the run game. It's going to occur the quarterback read on any type of pass concept. Okay? All right? Again, uh, uh, the next thing about spread to talk about is counting numbers. Okay? If uh, we're counting, I said counting numbers, it'd be, uh, if I'm going to put trips on the board, right, and I'm going to put three over here, okay, and I'll put X on the back side, let's just do it like that. Okay? Put four to a side. Okay? If you're running cover three and you don't slide your covers, I got you outnumbered. Okay? All right? Let's just say you line up in cover three. Strong safety corner, free safety. Okay, you got a backer on the front side. Okay? If I do anything in underneath coverage, I got three on one. If you can get your backer out there, I still got you three on two. Okay? So we only want to count it for the pass. You also want to count it for what? It's the run game. You got a hat for a hat. Okay? So we're counting. They're counting numbers, one, for the pass, is can they run the flood schemes, and uh, can they get four out to a side to outnumber you in a zone coverages, okay? The next thing, obviously, is, count, is the numbers count to make sure they can get a hat on a hat for the running game, okay? So what we want to make sure we're doing is, obviously, we'll get to that, is make sure is how are we going to adjust to all the things we see, all right? Let me cover this real quick. All right. Um, first thing we say, you, you've got to identify. It's a race here. Okay. We identify. Uh, I think this has become more important. Uh, we want to identify uh, the formation distribution. Okay. And this isn't so much for in high school. Obviously, it may, it may not be for the kids, but maybe for you. Okay. All we're going to do is we're going to take the formation and we're going to split it down the middle. Okay? And if they go one, two, three, four, five, right? That's all they can have. They got three and two. If they do any of that cut, it's split. Don't matter if they're in full eye formation tied in. Here he is. They throw the football, it's still what? Two on this side, three on that side. Still split distribution. Okay? Then so we got a three-two distribution. Okay? And then we want to build a four-one distribution. Right? I'll throw it like that. Okay. All right. We call that load. Any, we want to make sure our kids, we, we want to make sure our kids understand is that if, there, if it's load, if it's load formation, it's four to a side, we've got to be able to push our, we've got to be able to push our, our number count, all right, where they have us outnumbered for the run, and we've got to be able to push our zones on any type of pass coverage. Okay? So, two things we talk about split, we talk about load. All right. Um, the next thing you're going to see, obviously, it's huge in, in spread offenses, is the bubble, right? And depending on whether they throw the bubble or not, they're looking on leverage. Did you? Are you leveraging the number two receiver? If you don't, most teams like it's pretty. If you don't leverage number two, he's going to throw the ball out there, you know, block the corner, and they're going to do what he can. Okay. All right. So the next thing to do is obviously we're looking for leverage, and we want to make sure again we're leveraging the number two receiver always on the boat, okay? Uh, and then the fourth part we talked about this in schematics is the package of plays, okay? Now that goes it's important that because we want to know are they packaging plays <coughs> one high, two high? Are they packaging their pass plays? A lot of times you break films down and you see you say hey if it's two you know we watch the thing not just what routes are they running. Show up, say, all right. When they see too high, they're running what? Because they're running. 
Watch, there's the free safety. They got one, one guy, one high in the middle. Here's the routes they're running. Okay, well, now again, it goes back to either where we're going to disguise it and stem it and take it away from them, or if we want to just let it play. Beta, hey, I'm, I know what you're going to run. My kids are going to be prepared for it. Here it comes. We're going to give them one high in the middle of the free safety, and we're going to, we're going to know we're going to get what four verticals, or we're going to get the, the uh, curl flat in the boundary, whatever else. Okay, all right. I know it's kind of quick. Any questions about that? All right, let me just talk on this real fast. I think it's important when we start, because I, everything I'm going to go into is going to start with these basic concepts. The concepts I just talked about, again, already, about the, the schematics of the spread and what they're trying to do, and how we basically, how our package, how our package is something I'm going to talk about in the next three talks is going to relate back to the models thing I just said. Okay? The next thing is this is what we've got to find out. It hasn't changed since I started coaching. We said, what is defense? I want to make sure the kids understand that. It's formation recognition and the place to come off of it. All right? Don't, don't sit there and try to play the ISO when they're taking one back. You know? Don't, don't sit there you know, and, and try to be worried about making the zone read or playing the zone read when they're in two backs. You know what I mean? Don't do those things. We've got to recognize the formation and obviously recognize the place to come off those formations. Okay? And then obviously down distance tendencies, right? Same thing, simple. Recognize the formation, the plays that come off that formation, know the down and distance, know the tendencies that come, okay? And then obviously any pre-snap key you can get. That's basically, that's defense. That was defense when we were in the four, when I was in the four three, is defense when we were in the three four, is defense when we were in the three three, is eight man front big difference, okay? Um, I'm gonna touch base on this. I think, uh, it, you know, uh, there's, you know, there's, there's, Team drills you do that are important. Uh, again, when we start off, even I think we do we do a lot of cage drills, uh, and again, that's just to make sure our corner, from our corner to our nose guard, defensive end, whatever linebackers, that we know how to fit a block and get off the thing. Okay, all right. We talk about obviously the big three tackling is important. We make sure we're teaching the fundamentals of tackling. Okay, uh, we're going to make sure we have scheduling every week. We have tackling circuits. Okay. We have a tackling circuit every week. We make sure we schedule in. I always found this in coaching. If you don't pick a day and say it, it's the thing that always gets dropped. You run out of time. You whatever. Oh, coach, we got we got to spend more time on inside fitness play. Coach, we got to spend more time on these pass routes. We got to do all this other stuff. Well, for me, it was always to make sure we had we had a day designed, and that was it. Then this day, you know, we come out on Tuesdays. Tuesdays we're doing tackling circuit. They know it. Okay. Uh, Wednesdays we're doing takeaway circuit. Okay, and we always had the days designed in, so make sure we're getting it done. And then uh, the, that the sharks in the water is just, it's a term for us for uh, that's our pursuit. Okay, it's our two whistle drill. Okay, mostly done on defense, obviously two whistle drill. But we want to make sure again our kids kind of know the basic things that we're going to do, what we're going to do together. And this is the kind of things that we're going to hang our hat on. We're going to hang our hat that we're all going to be able to go cage and we're going to do it together. We're going to hang our hat that we're going to go fundamental on tackling, that we can do our circuits, our takeaway circuits, and then when we do our two whistle drill. Right? Kill the ball, but no matter all that it has, gotta to get to the football no matter what. Okay? Okay. Alright. Run basic run rules. Okay? Alright, now it goes back now to our coverages. How we incorporate our fronts with our coverages before we get into the spread. If we're seven man front, we want to stunt the front. Okay? So I'm saying it's what? It's too high. Right? Some variation is too high. The seven man front, we're gonna stunt the front. Okay? And, and really, we had to do this. Now, you may not in your conference, but we're going to see quarterback power, or quarterback ISO, quarterback dark every week. Mm -hmm. And if you don't stunt the front, every time you go too high, they got you outnumbered. And your linebacker better be able to whoop that tackle's ass on the dark play and make the play. You know, so seven man fronts we're going to stunt the front. Eight man fronts we're going to penetrate the front. Okay, eight man fronts always one gap space and we're going to take it. Nine man fronts, so when you get down nine, was it double quarters or whatever you're doing? Nine man front, who gives a shit? Because what? I got their ass outnumbered. Okay? I'm selling all the stack and think I got you. Okay? Alright, I'm going to touch on this real fast again so we go, when we go into the, the uh, spread. And I never thought it was as important as it is now with the spread because now it, uh, uh, spacing and fits 
Because it ain't just simple to, here's the two backs and here's the tight end. And it may be, you know what I mean, what you're facing. But when you start seeing the spread, that numbers count still there, his hand just ain't in the dirt sitting there in the tight end spot. He's motioning to it. And he's still the same guy that can block your invert. Right? And then the motion of trips, and then they bring the trade to the back, and then bam, they got your four to the side, and they got your running speed option out the gate, and they got a hat on a hat, and they're pitching on air. Okay? All right. So we talk about eight man. Eight man fronts. We're talking cover one, cover three. Some with a single high safety. You could, I don't know if you want a low, low, high hole, whatever. But we are in eight man fronts, right? All right. If we're talking as a basic way to teach this thing to start off, we talk about two tight ends. Okay? There it is. All right? You got eight gaps across the front. Okay? You got eight gaps across the front. All right? That's pretty simple. If it is, then I'm going to have obviously my three technique take that, my end take that, I'm going to take the back, it's going to take the A gap, this the defensive end, maybe the one technique take that A. You know, we all got a gap to take it. Okay? The problem occurs, all right? Obviously, when I take this guy out, general terms, talk about eye formation. Okay? I take this guy out and I put him here. And whatever he inserts, there's an eighth gap. Right? Okay, so the whole basis in this is your kids know how to how we're gonna leverage that moving gap. Whether it hits here on ISO or it hits here on the power, that creative gap, how are we always gonna leverage that gap? That's the thing we gotta make sure to do. Now, and it's gonna happen the same thing when you're talking spread. Back him up, move him over, it's still a moving gap. Take him out, stand him up. Right? Got two spreads. Now take that guy and motion over here. There's still an extra gap. Okay? So that's the thing we want to make sure they understand. Eight man spacing. Alright? Now obviously they're doing a spread. It's pretty simple, right? We say that hey, if he's there, it's single gap spacing, everybody's got a gap. Right? I'm taking outside, everybody's got their gap and take it. Okay? Well we say basically our, our general rule to start off, especially with our linebackers, is this is that if it's one back, it's one gap. One back, one gap, take it. <coughs> Okay? And then all these other dig them uh, darts and all that stuff kind of screwed all that concept. That's how we should teach it in the 90s and then it's the same thing anymore. So we start out with one back, one gap, and then obviously you, you got to change. Okay? So let's talk basic general stuff about spread option, right? Now I take this guy and I motion him over. What did I motion to? Motion to low. You got four to his side, right? If I leave this guy on the back side, he's useless. I'm not using him. I'm not playing defense with 10. Okay? So how am I going to use that cap? Okay? Well, in any of our zone coverages, we make a push call. If it's a zone coverage, and they're going to load it, we're going to push it. All right? We're going to make sure that we now, when he comes over, all right, we got a guy in that gap. He can still fit on the outside. That arrow should be over here. He can fit outside. He can fit in that gap. He slides over a gap. Now he's got that backside cutback gap. Okay? Now again, we're getting another guy to the front side of the defense and playing ball. Okay? How are we going to use all our people? That's the bottom line. How are we going to get all 11 to the fight? We're going to fight, we're going to fight with all 11 of them. Okay? So in any of our zone coverage, we make a push call. We're going to slide our gaps and we're going to slide our zones. Alright? General, I'll tell you, I'll tell you now what we'll touch later. When we man, we, we adjust it with our secondary. Okay, if it's man, we adjust our secondary. If it's a zone, we push it. Okay? Alright? Okay, now let's start getting into that uh, eight man fronts versus spread option. Okay? Basic two rules right above we start. We say that the, we're talking about the 50 side, we're talking, we're talking about a shade and a five technique, right? Now you may term your backers, if you term them, you may call them. Uh, 30 and up. Right? So I put nose that in my backer there. That's our 50 side. Okay? Alright? And then the eagle side, okay, just the side that's got the three technique on it, right? So now I said, I'll give you a tackle and, right, and you got the backer there. Alright? You may in your front, you call him a 30 back, you may call him a 10 back, right? Alright? I don't know how you're doing your system. That's, we want to make sure what I'm talking about now is how we're defending the spread, basic, if we've got a three technique, and how we don't if the B gap's open. Okay? Alright. General rule is this. If we, on the 50 side, okay, 
we're going to gap exchange this. So if I get the beer block, okay, if I got beer block, we're going to squeeze the end for the back, okay, and I'll talk about how we do this a little different because it's changed over the years too, okay, but basically I'm going to squeeze the end for the back and I'm going to gap exchange the backer and he's got the quarterback, okay, all right. Now, what we don't want to do on it is, by game plan, we're going to do it two different ways, okay? If, if this guy can't run, we'll turn our shoulders and go get him, okay? If this guy is an athlete, then we want to, our normal way to do it is we're going to squeeze, we're still going to squeeze and take the gap, okay? Because if we're, if we're going to squeeze, we know what this, if he runs in this, this, this A gap, the nose has got that, we're going to have somebody in that A gap, we're going to have him in the B gap, we're going to have him on that edge. Those gaps are counted for. I don't need to go chase your butt. Okay? So all we want to do is squeeze, and we're looking for what? The cutback. Okay? All right. To the three technique side, <laughs> anytime I got a guy here, then we're going to squeeze it. We're not going to gap exchange it. Okay? All right? So we we'll squeeze with the three, we'll gap exchange on the 50 side. Okay? You still see all the things we're talking about here, eight man front, the guy motions over, push, 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 now he's got the B gap, I'm going to push the A, I'm going to add him to this side over here on the front side, okay? So push the gaps out. Should be good? All right. Seven man front, okay? Now we'll go seven man front, we're talking two high coverage, okay? Again, this is by what you get into. A lot of spread teams, what they're trying to do, first of all, the whole idea of the spread option, all right, most times it's control the coverage. I want to make sure who's going to have the dive, who's got the quarterback, who's got the pitch. Okay, they're trying to get you into one coverage and play it. Why? So he can now throw the football. Okay, so when we go here and now we go to two high, okay, we say we're still going to, we're going to gap exchange the 50, okay, we're going to squeeze on the three man side, and then we'll start adding in some of our stunts, which I'm going to talk about the next period when we do this, okay? All right. We said in the seven man front, we're going to do stunt the front. Okay? So still, back to this side, okay? He's going to squeeze and be the quarterback player. Now that could be, when you're, that may be your end, that could be your tackle, that could be your tackle and your end. Okay? Don't matter what you call them, okay? We do everything, basically, we're doing everything out of 3-3 three, three personnel, but basically we're all, we're getting back to over and the fronts every snap. Okay? So here we're going to take our five, he knows I got three taking on my side. I'm going to squeeze and be the quarterback player. Okay? Well, I'm going to get in that stunt stuff on the back side. What we're trying to do with that seven man front, I stunt the front, is we want to make sure, because obviously, if I was an eight man front, my guy's right here, and he can take the B gap. Okay? Once I go to too high, if I'm going to say I'm going to force for the corner, if ball goes that way and the end stays out here in the five, he can't get to that gap, okay? And you're going to have trouble even doing with the quarter safety, all right? Quarter go pat, pat, boom, he comes down, he's going to make the tackle four-yard gain, okay? So we stunt the front, and I just now going to give him the B gap, make the ball bounce to where he can make the play, all right? Okay? Seven man front, we'll look back on the front side again. We said seven man front, that doesn't change. We're still on the 50 side. We're going to gap exchange it here. Okay? But we're going to put in a stunt on the back side. Okay? I'll go through all, don't worry about all this. I'll go through all that in the next talk. Okay? We'll go through all the stunts and how it works. Okay? Good. Yes? What, what term do you use for the end? Are we using the running back? We use it over D. 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 So squeeze is the quarterback. Squeeze. If I'm a squeeze player, I got the quarterback. Yep. Yeah. Gap. Yeah. What do you call when you squeeze the running back? Eat. Eat. Yep. Eat. He's gonna squeeze for the quarter for the back. Okay. Now same thing. We still we still want a shoulder square. Okay. So so on the three technique side, we're gonna eat with the tackle. Three technique tackle. All right. Uh, 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 you were squeeze on the three technique side, you're going to squeeze the quarterback with yes. the end. Yep. You're going to eat with the, the three technique tackle on the running back. Is that no, the three technique? technique's not, no, he's not going to take it back because he's going to be being blocked. Right. So, uh, okay. He's so, just gap response. Okay. So, <laughs> who's, who's, who's 
eyeball in the back. back yeah, and they're all going to have a gap. This is it. Back at the eight minutes coach, I think that's where the rocket comes in. Yeah. You may, it may clear up for you, but if I was just in general, it's an eight man front. Let's go. I'll put up. Okay. Okay. Let's just say it's on read. No option. There's no push call. There's nothing like that, right? Right? They're, they're sitting up here, they have X and Z, whatever. You got Z and A receiver, okay? One gap, one back. He runs his own, okay? I got that gap, 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 okay? He squeezes and plays four Can you guys all see that? Mm -hmm. yeah, now, if the running back cuts all the way back, I mean, and the, you know, what's the aim going to do? Yeah, from that gap. If he comes all the yeah, way Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Dan has a quarterback, is that, I mean, is that just a... Well, and that's why I got to squeeze. We're talking about when you got to, I got to squeeze and I got to punch hip. Okay? I'm going to squeeze, punch the hip, and read that. Right. But if the quarterback's you know, running already, I mean, how far does he get squeeze? Oh, that's it. Well, we tell, all right, we've got to jump in. Yeah. If, I'm, if I'm squeezing, if you're, if you're the squeeze guy, what you're reading is you're reading the best. Well, I said, I want to make sure his eyes are right. As he rides through here, when he pulls his hands back, this is where your eyes ought to be. Hand on the back. Your eyes will be here. So right now you know he ain't got the back. He ain't got the ball. Right? And you're squeezing to make sure you're in position to take the running back. Your eyes are here. He calls out, he's got the ball, you got him. Right? He rides through, boom, there's hand. He don't have the football, tackle the back. Okay? Yeah? Okay, so yeah. yeah. He's not sure he's tackled the back. He's not sure the mesh. Don't read the mesh. Yeah. Don't read the mesh. But if he's not sure, just, just you do. The only thing I know to talk that's why we're going to put them on thing. If, if the only time they're going to get not sure is when they run the mid, the, uh, the zero, the midline triple, and come right here. That's why we make the definition say, if you're an E player, you've got the back. Okay? That's why anytime if I'm a squeeze player, i got to squeeze tight. I'm trying to, put, we're trying to tell them, we're going to punch on the thigh board. We're going to punch right. the thigh board. I'm going to take that gap away with this. Right? And I, my eyes have got to go to the quarterback. My eyes are on the If I'm a squeeze player, my eyes are on the back. You're going to be screwed. He's going to be chasing. Okay? Alright? So again, we'll go eat. We'll gap exchange in here. Ends, guys, shoulders still got to be square. He's punching thigh board. His shoulder pads are square. Okay? He's still reading the mesh. I can back that one up. I mean, he's still reading the quarterback's hand, even if when he's in this, okay? If I'm here and we're going to gap exchange that, when he goes down and I punch that thigh board, I punch and squeeze, okay? As the back comes through the thing, I still want to have my eyes where? I'm going to squeeze that, my eyes are on the quarterback. If he's got, if he doesn't have, if he's got the ball, I'm going to be inside the quarterback, he's going to be outside the quarterback, right? Okay. If he doesn't have the ball, then I'm going to tackle, then I'm going to tackle back. Okay. So the biggest thing there is we talked about this, you know, obviously, I think when you're talking option football, you've got to talk uh, eye violations, you know, eyes in the right spots, they're looking at the right thing. Okay. <coughs> Again, I'm going to go through that. Next time. Okay. All right. We're gonna, when we go in the restroom, room, I'm going to take all that. We're going to talk about keys and reason, how they fit it, and we're going to talk about how we drill it and everything, okay? So we'll do all that when we go in the restroom. room. Um, next part, I want to talk about those tempos before we, before we go in there, okay? All right, here's the tempos you get. You get regular tempo. I'm in no, I'm in, I'm in no huddle. I'm a spread team. I'm in no huddle for what? He's still snapping the ball with 10 seconds on the clock. He's got, I mean, they're taking their time. They're running their plays in. They're checking it. Okay? You got plenty of time. Alright? Just because they ain't huddling up, don't be panicked. Alright? You got plenty of time, get the calls in, make your calls, get them lined up. Okay? When we talk about a hurry tempo, it's talking about he's snap he's trying to snap the ball with 20 seconds on the clock. <coughs> okay? I mean the ball gets down, the ball gets spotted, they're calling a the play, they're trying to get it. They want they want the ball snapped with 20 seconds on the play clock. Okay? I mean, every, every, about every, every 10 seconds they want a ball ran. Okay? 
Play finishes in the next 10 seconds, and went the ball snap. Okay? When we do that, okay, uh, you got to make sure again, we'll talk about it, you got to have your calls ready. You got to know that, okay? Uh, you got to always make sure you stay in one play ahead, and then I'm going to talk about the subs here in the next game, okay? All right? Four tempos, though. I want to make sure we go regular, hurry, scan, okay? Scans when it's going to come up. He's going to call his play, right? Make sure we're on the same page. He goes up. Uh, red 99, red 99, set. Boom, oh, he pops back. He looks at the thing. They're checking you on defense, right? I mean, the offense coordinator make sure he's, he's trying to get the chalk last, okay? Now he's going to say, run it, and then he'll turn around and say, go, hit, and snap the ball and go. Or he's going to check and say, no, 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 okay, all right, here we go, ready, zone right, zone right, ready, set, hit, takes it, run the zone, or whatever play they're going to do, okay? He's trying to make sure he's got the chalk last. He's going to scan it, right? It's not the quarterback, it's that guy in the box, right? Okay? So it's a scan tempo, right? He's going to check with the coach. Okay? You know, talk about this obviously. If you're going to do that, you got to have a check with me system on defense. Okay? All right? I'm going to go with that. And then the next one is obviously is the auto. It's a quick count. That means ball spotted. He's yelling, Miami, 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 Miami. Set, hit, ball snap. Okay? Ideally, that's what? Or not ideally, but spread teams are doing that, but that's, that's like your two minute drill, right? So people are doing, they're doing it right there on the snap. You see it in the NFL, what does it do? Um, Peyton Manning. If I'm on the dead and left hash, and you try to sub in a defensive lineman, he's going to go, Miami, Miami, say it, hit. They ain't going to get out there. He's killing people in the NFL doing that. Right? He, just, he has an auto system. They make the check. It's one call. Boom. He's, when I say these code words, we're snapping the ball quick. It's on first sound. Let's go. Okay? All right? Let me go, to go through each one of those again, though, okay? All right, again, regular. Biggest thing, take your time. You can still stem in disguise, okay? You can still stem. You can still disguise your coverages. You can stem your front if you need to, okay? All right, it's not the same thing. They're not hurrying up, okay? Defensively, teams that do that, it is a great opportunity for you to get the chalk last. Because what are they going to do? They're going to come out, they're going to get the play, they're going to say, oh, trip's right, trip's right. Then he's going to look over and get the call. Crap. Okay, there it is for you. They're in trips. All right, good. Now make your call. Okay? If they're going to take their time, then crap, they're giving you the chalk last. Okay? All right. Hurry, okay? You gotta be thinking one play ahead, okay? This is the way it's like, uh, I'm talking about Gus Malls on and sort of started. And actually, you know where it started, down with Gus Malls, Auburn. Uh, it started when he was a high school coach in Arkansas, okay? And he started doing that thing where he's gonna snap the ball with 20 seconds on the clock. He's gonna make him rush the calls on defense, okay? Try to get you to panic, all right? Try to make them play base because they're going so fast, they got to just hey, base, 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 play. To get you to stick in one defense, right? Because they're, they're worried about the pace of the game, okay? And so what's important that you've got to stay one play ahead. You've got to know if it's second long, this is what I'm doing. If, it's, if it goes to second short, this is what I'm doing. If it goes to third long, this is what I'm doing. Third short, this is what I'm doing, okay? <coughs> All right? If they're hurried up, general rules. Do not sub when the defense is on the far hash. Okay? If we're on the sidelines and on the net dig them hash, do not send these suckers in there. Okay? Because that's when they're going to get out there and what do we scream, get off the field, get off the field, get off the field. You know, it happens all the time. It happens in high school, it happens in college. And it gets a flag, 12 men on the field. Whose fault is it? It's ours. It's our field. All right? All right. Again, we try to tell our kids, though, again, when they do it, don't panic. Right? Right? Uh, we want to be hurried, but let's don't don't rush. It. Make the call. You just have to make it a little faster. Make your calls, whatever your adjustment calls, especially in the secondary those kind of things. Okay. <coughs> All right. Scan tempo. You guys, you guys see this a lot. It's coming down. Okay. All right. You've got to have the ability to auto out. Okay. Right, because he's got the chalk last. Especially if you're a pressure defense at all. 
and he comes up there, uh, blue 92, blue 92, say, hey, right? And you just boom, 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 everybody just jumped up in there. All right, blitz. Guy goes, oh, blitz, here we go, ready? Hey, say, hit. So, you know what I mean? Those general things. He's going to pop the ball up. The coach sees it. He's going to call his blitz check. He's going to make sure he's got some play to get all fast. He knows what he's going to do. Okay? That whole tempo of this is who's got the chalk last? Okay? Make it you. Okay? They're going to scan tempo. Okay? There's two ways to do this. Okay? What we have done is this. Is if they're scan tempoing, all right, we say, if he looks... You look. Okay? So that's a bread, 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 bread and butter way to handle that. Quarterback comes up and says, black 26, black, then he goes, boom. If he steps back and he looks, then you look to the sidelines. So if I want to change it, I can change it. Okay? He looks, you look. Okay? The other way we want to do it, and then the next thing we want to do is this is we want to make sure is that uh, uh, we all same thing. We want to have you know, a couple of bread and butter calls, we got to have them in code words so they can get in fast. So I have to go to the front, in the front, the blitz, the coverage. <clears throat> we give one signal, that's it. They got it. Okay, they're shouting one word, everybody else is doing it. Okay, and we can change it. I, can go, I know I gave them too high. Okay, I want to get smashed. All right, here it comes. All right, and I want to get back into cover three, quarters, whatever you want, whatever you want to do. Okay? Alright? It's important when you get in these games, okay, the guys that do that, is you gotta coordinate your disguises. If he's gonna check it, then be able to make sure, hey, just think about it, know what you want. Bait him into making those calls that you don't want, right? Have the calls you're gonna get eleven up. I'm gonna go eleven up. When he baits out of that thing, then we know what we're going to, right? I'm gonna bait him into throwing the fade or throwing a slant. I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna get everybody up in there. They're gonna show them 11 up. I'm gonna press. We're gonna show base a zero blitz, right? I'm gonna let him scan out, and then we know we're playing. Everybody get out there, okay? No one know. They, and obviously, when the kids knows, what are you baiting them into? If I'm showing press and showing 11 up, I'm a corner. I better be thinking right now. He's taking me deep, right? If I'm in front and we just show 11 up, general protect is still what? Speed option. I'm on the day I go, man, I better think that. We showed 11 up. He just checked it. I should be ready right now and think, or whatever your check is in your conference, okay? And I, but if I'm a front guy, then that's what I'll be thinking on the edge. We just showed 11 up. He just scan tempoed it. Boom, we're back out. And I should be thinking right now, speed option. Here it comes at me, okay? All right. Uh, to me, those are the chess matches, okay? And that's, again, that, that's the best part about coaching. Those are the games I love. Okay? Those are that's the fun time. Okay? Don't let them have the chalk last and don't let them think they're the only person that can freaking check out of a play. You know what I mean? Don't don't just sit there with the offense and the offense got to check with me system they do this, oh we're gonna check for this play. Well hell, you gotta have your own. You know what I mean? And I know obviously I, I, mean, I, I coach high school different sometimes it ain't, it ain't the easiest thing with certain you know what I mean kid up with when you when you're talking about a fifteen year old kid, uh, you know, but if you, if they're getting a lot of this, you need to have some way to Know, at least be able to get them from a one to a three, or from a two to a three, or three to a two. You know what I mean? Take them, take them back on the cover. Okay. All right. Automatic. That's when we're going real quick. All right. Two minute situation. Think about that. All right. Uh, it, it's probably one of the most undercoached things, I believe. It's mostly one underworked things, but it's also usually happens what the game's on the line. The game's on the damn line, guys. They're marching down, but they got, you know, whatever, two minutes to go, and here it goes, they got to hurry up. And, you know, if you're not prepared, what happens? You're signaling thing in, the kid's not used, he's flustered, uh, coach, I, well, I didn't get the call, you know, and you got some guy sitting in the flats, he's supposed to be in the third, you know what I mean? Or you got a guy supposed to be blitzing, and he's standing there, put on the thumbs, okay? You got to have audibles. Same thing. So, with our, our, what we have got into in the last couple of years is that our audibles are the same thing we're going to use in two minutes, or the same thing we're using in scan tempo. We got four or five of our calls that I mean they know is what if we if we if we say uh, whatever uh, over front cover two, and we know if we want to say uh, Dallas Dallas, we're going to go to a you know, under front cover three. 
know, or whatever else you're going to put it. We're going to do a bare front cover one. All right? We're going to have a couple calls in there so we know our bread and butter that we can use them on scan tempo, all right, and we can use them all in two minute drill. Okay. Um, make sure, obviously, when they're doing that, again, same things about substitution. If they're hurrying and snapping that ball, everybody's got to know that what? We're subbing when? When the ball's on our hash, or when the clock is stopped, all right, or it's a long pass. All right? If I say you're going, all right, we've got to sub the front out because they're in two minutes. These guys are tired. i got to get a tackle. i got to get somebody in there. i got to get a front end for these guys. I'm going to sub somebody out. They don't win. They know that we're, when we're going. We're going when the ball comes. If they run it this way, boom. Okay, you're in. Okay? It's a long pass, incomplete pass, boom, we can sub it in. Long pass is in caught, we can get our butts in there. Right? Because chain's got to move, we've got time. Okay? So we also want to coordinate our substitution packages in those situations as well. Okay? Uh, those are, those, I mean, I mean, it happened to me, it's happened to me, it's never happened to you. Uh, you know, you get in one of those situations, two minute drill, what, you know, some guy subs, you know, got whatever, D line coach subs a guy in there, and, you know, fat little Johnny runs out there and takes him a minute to get out there, he's got 12 on the field, or he doesn't get out there in time. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'm going to stop that. And that's our that's our run support stuff. Okay? And really, what I want to do is I want to go in. Okay? Um, make sure. Yep. Okay. Um, I want to go into uh, we're gonna go in the wrestling room. It's down the walkway here, okay? And I want to go back through, and we're going to go back through the linebackers, D-line fits, 50, okay? How we're, we're squeezing it, how we're, how we're reading all that stuff, okay? Uh, and I hope, hope we're going to get to this, okay? Um, if not, we'll fit it in another, somewhere else in there. Is most of you guys, are you guys, is everybody here gap exchanging on this stuff? Are you doing that? Is everybody doing that? You, got, you think of your block here, zone read, you got to exchange that? Okay. Well, if you are, the same thing we got to know is that the things that happen here, again, okay, is he wheels back on the end, okay? And then how good is he about dipping and ripping through, through this guy, okay? Or just the base block out, okay? All the different blocks he's got to play. Okay. Now when we're going to go through this. The same thing. We want to come back and later, and we're going to, we're going to talk about the the read. We're just reading the five technique, uh, and uh, is either the next talk or it's the third one tonight. We're talking about reading uh, off the counter. There's another pulling guys and stuff. So again, when we talk about this, I'm going to talk about making sure we know what we're looking at and what our keys are. Okay. So we good. All right. Let's go on head on down that way. Want the five technique? Nobody saw it. Come to the 50 side first, okay? First thing we're going to do, obviously, is I'm going to go there and I'm going to go back, all right? I'm, uh, I want us to review, make sure we understand it, okay? Obviously, I'm going to have to slide away. If the ball's inside, all right? If the ball's inside, okay, we first want to talk about here is we're stepping down the midline of the thing, right? We're stepping to him. All right, I want to get my power foot down. Okay, so my power foot's coming on this side. Obviously, if I get the base block, all right, if I get the base, I'm going to shoot my hand, I'm going to squeeze the base, all right, and I'm going to squeeze it back inside. All right, I'm just going to touch it. If he reaches to us, boom, well, if he reaches, what we want to do is we're talking about this, we're going to shoot our hand and we're going to push him on the field. Okay, all right. If he blocks down, if he goes down, we want to try to punch him in the thigh board here. Board, we're going to squeeze. Got it? All right, here we go. Here's the tackle. Defensive end, you can just do it two point. Okay? All I want is you're going to block down, I want you to squeeze down, and punch him in the thigh board. Right? And we tell, we tell him to tack, tackle, tackle, get the hell out of there. Make him work the squeeze. Here we go. <coughs> Say, hit. Okay? Down, down. Get away. Come on back. Do it again. Go ahead and get out of there. Go ahead and get out of there. Come on, boy. That's good. Come on. There you go. Say, Okay? First thing we say, what? Where's his, where's his hand? Right. His hand was on the hip pump. Mm -hmm. Good. Get your hand on his thigh board, right? We want to make one. We've got to keep our shoulder pads down. Okay? We want to make sure our hips are down. We've got a good knee position. Here we go, right? Say, hit. There we go. Okay? Well, two things we 
we're trying to get off this is we're making sure when we find my back right here, and I just can't get the back on my side. Can I get somebody else to stand their back to make sure the picture? Kyle, just stand up be the running back. Okay? So I just went right here. Here's on the back on the side. We're standing we're going to shade, pick on the picture side. I said, e -e 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 -e. Ready? So hit I got a punch to make sure he can't get to me. Okay? So we gotta squeeze him back down. Go, come back. That's what I want to say. We'll punch with one hand. I'm gonna try to get him in the thigh board. We don't want to go to two, because if I go to two, what happens to my shoulders? Okay? We don't want to turn the shoulders. We want to say with one hand, get it on the thigh board. Let's do it one more time. Here we go, ready on the backer. I got the back on my side, so I'm gonna say, ee, 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 ee. Okay? Say, hit. Okay? Uh, just like that. Okay? Now take it back. Now, I'm oh, sorry, I'm back. Quarterback. What well, we want to make sure he's reading is this. Now here it comes. Ready? Let's walk through this. Ready? Set. Hit. Okay. We say this. When he passes me, go to block down attack. Block down attack. Hit. Good. Stop. When he passes me, make sure your hands are here. Okay. And we drill it. Come on back. Same thing. We drill it. I'm in the common quarterback. We're drilling the thing. Ready? Can we go. Ready? Set. Hit. Good. When we get that bone. We want to show our palms up. No ball, right? All right, we want to make sure he's looking at the right damn thing. Okay? Don't be looking at the back, look at me. All right? Here we go again, let's run through it. Okay? So hit. Um, so, and then where would you go? Back. Back. Good. 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 There you go. Okay? So that's it. We're working on this. We're going to punch the hip. I mean, punch the thigh board. Say thigh board practice why, because now it's going to be the hip. Okay? And when we tell this, we want to make sure we're stepping right. We gotta step with that foot down the middle line. Okay, the problem with the stage having young kids is this. You block down, and I wanna run around you, buddy. They're gonna try to avoid the contact. Okay? <coughs> it's just like on my options, we'll block your somebody in the bone or something like option. If that sucker blocks down, I wanna get my, I wanna tell you, get my shoulder pad and get under his uh, chest. Okay? I gotta get my chest on him. Okay? So, the biggest important part, we say eat. If we make the E call, the first thing we're telling this man is your job. You got to, if he goes down, you got to knock his ass down. Okay? All right? Make sure you get it back. All right? Because if he doesn't, just leave me alone. Okay? <laughs> you, you're going to try to replace him. Ready? Set, go. All right? You come off my ass. Where's he going? Okay? And there's your duck back for the quarterback. Okay? All right? So the first thing we got to do is move. we, at the five technique, is you're declaring from the back first. Okay? you got time. Because why? we got a guy in the A gap. we got a guy in this A gap. we got a guy in this B gap. You don't have to go anywhere. So first thing is say, eat. Knock the crap out of the tap. Right? He goes down. Okay? Punch. Make sure you match. Make sure he did good. You want to take him away from that back. Everybody with me on that? Okay. Good. That's good. Come back. All right? If I'm the backer, okay, on the 50 side, okay, when we, first of all, when we see this, we don't put him in a 30. So we say we put him in a 41. I'm going to take my foot, walk down, and kick him out the cross. Okay? I'm still inside foot of the tack. Okay? One, if I get inside, I'm giving him that lead. If he's worth a darn tackle, and if he's on the reef, He's going to dip and rip through him, right? He won't, he don't, he's not going to just come down inside, okay? He's going to dip and rip through the inside number, this guy. Dip, rip, lean on him, right? Because it keeps him from squeezing, and I'm going to back, okay? So the first thing we want to do is eat. If he dips and rips, right? you got to mash his ass down in here, right? And squeeze him, okay? You can't stay outside, all right? So, alright, so I'm going to go on backward, back to my side. I'm going to go 41, okay? I go 41. When it, we make the E, 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 we'll make sure we're on the same page. We we'll make the call E, 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 okay? When he makes the call, ready to go, he squeezes, say, hit, he squeezes. I want to replace the down there in the seat, okay? I don't want to come out wide, okay? If I do come out wide, and that tackle pins back around, pins back around, Alright? Now you got the duck leg here for the quarterback so he'll come back and get you. Okay? So we want to replace the defensive lineman's feet, okay, on an e-call. Alright? 
I'm still reading what you tell us. You say, we're going to bright light the guard. Right? If I'm that stack back and I'm at 41, I'm going to bright light the guard. I'm going to dim light the tailbacks. Okay? Linemen are like your mom, the back's like your girlfriend. That picture will light. Okay? This one won't. Alright? So we're going to get here, we're going to get the down block, right? I'm going to block the shade technique, right? So we're doubling the shade here. He's leasing inside, he's really got the B, back, B gap defender, okay? He's got the B gap defender. So if he's worth a darn, if he knows as soon as you squeeze, who's he going to block now? Because who's the B gap defender? The five, right? So that's why we talk about you got to knock his ass down in here if you don't, he's going to pin back on you, okay? All right, so I'm going to bright light the guard and dim light the back. Okay, I get the mirror release to take one step and freeze. Ready? Freeze. Boom. Okay, that right there, he's going to realize that's the mirror block and that's his own read. Okay, back up again. Again, so when we're talking about factors, we talk, we do a lot of stuff. We say we're going to bird dog it, right? I'm going to one step, two step, three step, call it a see. Okay, because you do not want him. Obviously, if he, if he recognizes on second or third step, he's going to be screwed. Okay? What you ideally what you want him to do is go recognize all these plays in one step. <coughs> one step. Down, down, come across. Right? Let's do it again. Right? E, E, ready? Say hit. Boom. I replace him down on his feet. Right? If he keeps going down, we're going to mash his ass down. We say if he turns back on you, you've got to declare it and you shove his ass in the gap. Okay? Here we go. I'll get to five now. Now here's what we say. I know this, as soon as we gap exchange, I'm now the B gap defender. That backer is now the C gap, right? Okay. <coughs> so, <coughs> in order to take that gap, he wheels back on me, it's going to be either my body in the B or his body in the B. But somebody is going to be in the B. Okay? My body, his body, somebody. Okay? So, if I got any type to say, we say, hey, if, if, if you get confused, right, when I go down, boom, I'm going to smash. If he turned back on me, I'm going to still mash his ass. Right? I'm gonna ma i gotta, I got to mash him down. There's a nose guard right here. Okay? Let's get a better picture. Can I get two more of you guys? Okay? <coughs> Once you get the guard, okay? And then you get sent. Okay? So again, let's say the way that doesn't work out. These two are going to zone. They're going to zone to the mic. Okay? They're zoning to the mic. Okay? He's got the B gap defending. Alright? Walk through, ready to go. Alright? Good. We want to make sure what? That's what we got to do. If I can't get it, I got to do well with it. I got to match his ass to there. Well, I got this one. Okay? The mic, we said what? Back up again. One back, one gap. Okay? So again, I got a nose guard right here. Right? So on the background, on the mic on this side, I'm the 10 back here, and I'm using my center and my guard. Okay? If it zones to me, ready, go, boom, 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 I'm running through. Boom. Okay? So I got the A gap. Okay? The nose got that A gap. The five technique's got the B gap. Right? In my body, his body, or somebody. And then the backside, backer, all right? So an E, 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 ready, set, hit, boom, and fix. You come right off, stay tight, and I got the quarterback, okay? All right, let's move on that. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna talk about this backer first, okay? Um, I just do two of you. You gonna stay? Good, all right, let's go ahead and get the backer. All right, here we go, ready? So on the back of the call, okay? On the back of the call, we say we want him to do, again, because all he's going to do is what? I'm going to replace it down here, feet, boom, boom, And we're going to tell him to keep the feet hot, right? Body motion to stay motion, right? Basic kinesiology. I'm going to keep my, I'm going to keep my feet hot, and I'm going to keep my shoulders square, and I'm going to stay on the line of scrimmage, okay? So here we go, ready? I'm going to do the back. Right, yeah, you're going to step down. I'm going to go ready. Do one more. Oh, we're drilling the line. We're drilling the outside back. There's one eight. Come on. Here we go. Ready? Let's go. E, 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 E. Right? Here we go. Ready? Set. Hit. 
boom, he comes, I'm going to run. We'll make sure we want to stay on the inside neck and neck of the quarterback. Here. If I continue to run outside, I'm going to stay on the inside neck. I never want to get out front of the quarterback and get duck lane inside. Okay? All right? So again, we've got to make sure he gets to the reads. Okay? Most of the time when we drill this now, we tell him this. Okay, good. Alright, we would take our this. We would take our. If I had the one linebacker going here, I'd take the two and tell him you're the defensive end. Okay? So they gotta know what this guy's doing in front of them. And then especially the because again, I think he's more course of high school, he's not standing back there dicking off. Okay? So we're gonna get a four grade drill. So here it goes. I'm gonna put the two back right here. Okay? Okay? Said hit, he's gonna squeeze the match, I'm gonna place, and I'm gonna play the quarterback. Okay? Now the next thing about it is that when we pitch, when he pitches, we want to make sure we run flat. So I'm going to buzz my feet, boom, 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 boom. When he pitches, I'm going to open the flat. All right, I'm going to open the flat, I'm going to run down the line of scrimmage. All right? Sooner or later, the tailback's going to gain yardage, you've got to come to me. Okay? What we don't want to do is pitch, pitch, and I've got a foot race with a guy that's probably faster and he's going to beat me nine out of ten times. All right? So we want to do this on the trail. Here we go, Curry. Um, I'll do one. You step away, step out. Alright? Didn't have enough guys. We go cone. I'd say cone. Here we go. Ready to eat. Ready to hit. Boom. I'm going to hit the skate. Pitch. And I want to run a flat down line. Okay? So again, when we're drilling it, we're going to go right side. We got another guy on that side going left side. Right? Is everyone on that? Okay. Come on back. All right, let's talk about this back again. All right, what he's got to go recognize, we said we're bright light who? The guard. Okay, we're bright light the guard. Okay, his general rules when we start teaching that back, so you saying, right, I'm going to bright light the guard. Okay, if this window ever opens up, take it. So if he turns on the five and I do this, where are you going? You got to be. Okay. So, for some reason, this guy, this tackle, got impatient because I've been mashing his ass down in there. And he takes one step of wheels on me, one step of wheel, turn back on me. There you go, boom. Where does he go? He's got to fit inside. Okay? How's that going to work? It's going up this three foot. Fit at five. Okay? All right? I'm telling you, realistically, it's going to work with this. Ready? I'm going to go away, eat, go, say hit, go, boom, I see it. I'm probably going to rock that way. I saw the bright light, guard go down, I saw that. Okay? So if I get caught, I go one, two, boom, boom, I got to come back inside. I got to go here for it, and I got to plug it back. He cuts it back. Ever got that? All right? All of them hey, what is it? It's open window. Okay? You got an open window, same thing as the top of an ISO. Or he's down, he's out, you're going to pull back in. Okay? This is a hey, window open, you got to take it, that's my gap. Okay? But if it's a beer block, right, down, down, boom, boom, I'm going to play tight, bug my feet, take the quarterback, go open and go play. So we're on that? Okay. All right. Uh, can I get two more real fast? I need, I need a guard in the center. All right. Okay. Here's one thing we do to help, to help this side. Uh, if I'm going to shave it, right? If I'm going to shave this side of the nose, if the back's on my side, okay? If the back's on my side, especially if it's one back, right? I know I should know right now, like, recognize formation. Back's there, what is it? Zone there, okay? Or if it's hard, what he is in the pistol. If he's in the pistol, it's either way, you don't know. Okay? But if he's off, if he declares to the side, okay? What we want to do then is we want to step powerfully to the back. So this is the way, instead of, let me, let me go to the center first. If you zone and I latch onto you, boom, get on my side and wash it. Boom, 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 boom. That's what's going to happen. They're going to wash the crap out of it, right? A lot of people are teaching the zone, they're trying to guard, to put your freaking face mask in and, and the shades, the rib cage, right? Boom, 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 and wash it, right? And there's your zone cut. Okay. So what we tell is this, all right? If he goes to there, I'm going to step powerful to the back. Ready to go? And that's to keep you from getting washed. Okay? 
Alright? So I'm going to set my power foot to the back on the zone, and if it doesn't stop this from getting washed and here, I have to close this car. Okay? It's going to be the same thing we talked about playing off the squeeze. Okay? So all I know is I have to set a step into the center. Like the back is on that side, go ahead and that side, Kyle. The back is over there. Great. I know it should be what? Zone this way, huh? So I step power foot to the center. He zones this way, go. Boom. Now I need to anchor my spot down on that side. Have we got that? The back is over here. Now I'm going to step power foot to my right. That's probably the hardest damn thing that's hardest for our guys to run it. Okay? So I'm not going to lie to you and say it's easy. No, I mean, you think it is, but it does, it does make a very conscious of formation. When we get one back up there, our guys got to know where the back is. The way we boom. It's on this side, I'm going to step my right foot. And on the other side, I'm going to step my left Okay? So the whole idea is to get your power foot down to the side of the block coming from. Okay? All right. Let me go again to the mic. Again, I want to make sure we cover again. If I am here, Okay, let me, let me do this. Okay, uh, let me do this. Do Why don't you come down here and get a shake? Okay, uh, and you, why don't you come over here and be the free kick? Okay, and let's still leave the back on that side, Kyle. All right? Okay, here we go. I'm the 10 back. Just like you did right now, make sure we're on the same page. If we said, you know, obviously inside the guards are one, head up to two, outside to three, right? So ten's inside out of the guard. So if I'm a ten, let's get a little wider so we get a better picture. Good. If I'm a ten, I'm an A-gap player. I got a shade here, I got a free technique here. Okay? This is my triangle. Right? I'm gonna see both these guys. Alright? And all I'm really gonna get is I'm gonna do zone this way, zone that way, block that pole. Okay? Go through all the looks you guys see out there. We're talking zone, okay? If I get the zone coming this to the back over there, if I get the zone this way, coach says one back, one gap, okay? So if that guy cuts the zone off, I want to run through, right? And I want to take the 65, 35, and we say what we want to do. Cut, I mean, right down the pipe, right? I'm cut on the zone and choke, right down the middle, okay? Cut and choke. Have we got that? So, again, the idea of running through, so you can see the whole picture, how it works out, if we're doubling to him, and I'm a shade, and we go here, and that mic runs through, what's he got to do? He got to come on. Now, what? Now, you've got that gap. All right? Come on that gap. Okay? So, uh, if I don't run through, if I do not attack the backer, and we do this stuff, Right, and we shuffle and save my own and all that stuff. They got stand the damn double teams all day long. Okay? Now that guy's in your getting your damn lap. Okay, we don't want them in the lap. So when they zone, I know that's mine. Here comes the zone, goes boom on the gun. Right? I want to make sure I'm shooting my hand and right down the choke. I say choke because I'll show you the next part. Right down the midline, right on the cuff. Okay, when a cuff, I'm on the sleeve. Right? I'm on the cuff. And I'm choked. That means I want right down the midline where his throat is. Okay? Because the next part we do is this. I'm here, I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna slide it to his throat. Okay? I'm gonna hit him in the middle, I'm gonna hit him right in the stern, and then I'm gonna slide it right into his throat. And I don't care how big he is, if you put your hand in the throat, the last thing he's worried about is blocking it. Okay? Alright? So the weather is it's tough and choke. So the same thing would happen if the back was on this side, and they zone this way, zone, boom, and do what? Cut the choke. Keep my half my gap, right? Have we got that? So if I'm the mic, it's always it's very simple, one back, one gap, I'm running through the damn thing. All right? Okay. All right. Let me stay with the shade and five technique. And let's put the back on the other side. Okay? So let's go ahead and uh, let's find one. We'll see this one's got a center. There we go. Can we slide over to the camera? You're fine, Coach. Okay. All right. Now let's put the back on the opposite side. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to take 50. I'm right behind the guard. Back's over there. I should be thinking right now it's on to me. Okay? All right? The nose guard should be set with which foot? 
So uh, you, you got to watch them, and, and, you know, and, and figure out how they run the zone, how they run, how they run. Okay. If they're reading off the backer, same thing. One, two, each to what? Each cuts back. He cuts back. That's why I'm rocking. Okay. So either way, most time on zone, it should be reading him or me. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go to the, 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 the eagle side, the three technique, okay? Uh, let me slide it a little bit, okay? Okay. Again, I'll be, uh, all right, let me get back to me. All right, let's put the ball on that side. I got three technique. Okay? I mean, the back's over there, 
find them as on to us. Right? They's on to us. Right? Same thing can happen. We tell them the same thing. If it's a face, we're going to go cut the choke. Put them here, slide it to the throat. Here, here, put here, put it, squeeze it back. Okay? Have we got that? Don't shoot with the throat. You can't shoot your hands with the throat. You'll miss. You stick it right in the middle of the sternum, and then what? Boom, the block goes, it slides up into his throat. Okay? So we have the same thing. If I'm getting base blocks, my job is to squeeze. So we're going to say cup and choke and squeeze. Cup, choke, squeeze. Okay? I'm going to the ball. He's got the B. I got the bounce. Mike's got the A. Guy. Okay? Is everyone on that? Any questions about that? Yeah. Three techniques. Oh, no, back's over there. Step to the right. Yep. Back to the left. Step to the right. So if I was going to go on this side, I'd be doing the same thing on the shape, right? I'd set the guard. Okay. And what you're doing is really trying to pull off those double teams as soon as possible. Okay. All right. Good. Um, and then, like I said, we can go back to the eight man push calls and all those things. How you want to do that? But if they're not motioning them through and they're not having a pitch guy and they're not doing those things, then it's pretty simple. If he's lined up with a quarterback and a and bat and he runs it through, you know, it'd be one gap, one bat. I mean, one back, one gap. Boom. Take it. You get the backers to attack the line of scrimmage. Get them off the double teams. Everybody's got a gap. It's eight man spacing. Simple. One of you's got to get out of Dave and Wayne in order to run the football. Okay? That'd be good. Okay. Uh, we'll be back in. Uh, for the next one. Any, any questions? Any questions? We good? Okay, we'll be back inside for the next time.